I'm Rosalind Brock, and the first woman eligible to vote in my family was my great-grandmother, Causey Pittman. This is her photo. As a black woman and a farmer who grew up in rural Florida in the segregated South, she was not able to vote until the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. She cast her first vote at the age of 59 in the 1968 presidential election. My family often shares the story of how my great grandmother would get dressed up in her Sunday best and wait for a ride to the polls on election day. Mementos that remind me of her are the many beautiful handmade quilts that have been passed down to each generation. She leaves for me and the women of my family a legacy of faith, a love for family, and commitment to civic engagement and service to the community. On the 100th anniversary of suffrage for women in this nation, I honor the memory and lift up the name of my great-grandmother, Causey Pittman, and the thousands of nameless black women who continue to fight for the franchise. And in the spirit of Sojourner Truth, who boldly declared, ain't I a woman?